Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Dom here. Today, we're going to be jumping into TW 2020, looking at how you can get a person from just unrecognizable, nothing, no one knows who he is, and make them a star. Now, typically in TW 2016, I would just say put him in segments with big people, spam the heck out of him, have him win every match possible. But there's a lot of other little factors going into it when it comes to TW 2020, some that almost seem random a bit. Um, so I'm trying to make some clarifications here for you. As always, the handbook can help you out a little bit more, but maybe me actually telling you guys uh, what has worked for me might help you guys out also. Uh, also in that regard, uh, you know, the game is always updating, so take it with a grain of salt that some things may be tweaked. Uh, for instance, today in one of the patches for 18 was for in the workers and their popularity caps. So. Do be aware that if you're having Chikara, don't be expecting someone to have 90 popularity and to be pumping out, you know, the the next big John Cena in Chikara somehow. Even if you're a small company, you have to be aware of your company's size and how far they can grow. For instance, let's look at Austin Gunn here, a wrestler who starts off at about a 20, uh, which is worse than Brandon Cutler as the person you would perceive as a job or a no name in the company at all. Now, I did the first month and had him pretty much just win every match. Simple enough. You know, I, I had my default little, um, you know, television events and pay-per-view. I didn't go and make my own network yet. Now, the second month, I did go through and make my own network, and you can see there's more of an increase there. Now, after that, we um, did event spamming which is a bit interesting to say the least. And that's where you're gonna be able to just pump out all these events and uh, essentially it's gonna work a lot more than television. Uh, you'll get a lot more um, overness, coverage, stat increase, all that it seems from comparing them. Um, so I'm actually going to go through my settings and quickly we're gonna turn off scouting and pro mode uh, to get an even better look here at Mr. Gun. We're also going to be comparing him to some other people on this roster for an idea of kind of how things are a little bit random, like I said. So, like I said, we had the popularity, 79 across the board there in the U.S., starting off in the 20s, going to 36, then 54. You can see it right here, um, you know, middle of March. He's now at the 79 mark, uh, so I'd say that, you know, at the, at the end there. So if we go here, also we can check out skills. We can see how he's been uh, increasing and whatnot in some of these areas by people that he's wrestled. Uh, I think the big ones to really look out for are stamina, basics, Settling's pretty nice too. I'll give a thumbs up to Settling. Hasn't really increased that much. Uh, star quality can increase a little bit, which is uh, nice. Uh, charisma, microphone, all that, uh, but experience. Experience and respect are gonna be big ones, especially when his career it comes to an end and he'll probably be want to be a road agent you'd want to have that respect up there and psychology and everything but let's look at his match history here so we can see he has not lost a single match 29 wins the lowest rating of 39 and highest rating of 93. now he in particular has hot momentum but he just got that and he's recognized as a star another thing interesting is that he is a baby face a cocky gimmick, very happy morale, and the dude has the TNT and the AW World Championship. Now, this is where things are going to tie in with the product. And, you know, not every company will allow you to have uh, comedy based gimmicks for your stars and major stars. So, that would be the cap off for some people if you're wondering, okay, why isn't R Truth a major star or a star in my company? Well, it's because he's capped off there because of that comedy gimmick. So, that might be one reason why you're scratching your head. Um, another reason, like I said, is because if we go back to Austin Gunn, um, he's got that 79 popularity. Now my company size here, if I can find it, we have the 80, 81 around that area right there, but we are a big company, you know? So that's gonna give him a little bit of a cap off there. Now there is luckily a thing in TW where a minimum cap off. So if he starts going on the decline, he won't go any lower. But I've also ran into another interesting uh, situation. Let's take for instance, Mr. Matt Hardy. 
he's at a 74 here for popularity and he's actually gone down from 80 to 74. now he's not putting on the best matches at all really two wins four losses even a win on a pre-show so it doesn't really matter that much honestly he has red hot momentum which is interesting normal morale and is a major star though but let's look at chris jericho who's only a star he has hot momentum but his popularity is in the 60s now and he has massively dipped from 86 down to 60 within that you know three month time of the demo now let's look at his match history something interesting here is that he has the 94 in the highest rating you know average of 87 79 for the lowest two wins 10 losses so he's losing a good bit but he's still putting on really good matches hell he's putting on some of the best matches in the entire company in my opinion you know compared to someone like Brody Lee who also has hot momentum and he's also putting on um, you know these these 99 rated matches almost but he has 16 losses so why is someone like him considered having hot momentum you know uh, and that can tie into having some pretty good segments also for you know a product being episodic entertainment i imagine that ties in there but this is another thing that may confuse you guys but don't worry we'll round it off here at the end and kind of make sense of some of the stuff so mr cody rhodes has a red hot momentum he has popularity of 91 and it is not stopping it is going up here and my popularity cap for my company you would imagine would be in that 80 range area because of austin gunn a person who had no popularity at all he was nowhere built him up to be tnt champion built him up to win the world championship and he was putting on some good matches he has 29 wins why is he not at red hot boiling hot momentum why is he not a major star in the company now i personally can blame this on the perception system and whatnot and say hey maybe that's why but there's also a lot of factors in with tw it's a very factor heavy game so don't beat yourself up if essentially one method isn't working and here's another thing to keep in mind i'm doing a company like AEW, wwe impact those style branded companies even i would say new japan and roh for the most part i'm not doing something like ecw or czw or gcw something more hardcore oriented because your method to the madness of making this work is going to be much more different because if your fans turn against that wrestler and have a very vocal crowd that hates them you're going to have to take part in a whole different way of thinking to try to get them over and ultimately the fans might just still hate them and might never consider him a star you know take a look at their gimmicks also so there might be a thing here is that he's got just an adequate adequate cocky gimmick you know now i can do a gimmick change here and we can see what stuff he can play what stuff can do better you can see stuff they'd be particularly good in we can even you know make it more creative unique uh, we can tweak it a bit and so we don't really have a um crazy pro or con here it's just simply wins and losses have a greater impact on popularity changes but why is he not going over that threshold like for instance someone like cody so we look at cody's gimmick which is family legacy gimmick very good we can see the you know penalize there for the um you know what he loses to in terms of like comedy gimmicks matt hardy for example if we go over here he's got very good at the broken gimmick so maybe that's why it's keeping him at red hot momentum but Jericho also has, like I said, an adequate at the old school heel gimmick. So ultimately, everybody, I know that's a lot to take in. It may be very confusing for some people. So there's a couple ways to approach this one. You can event spam some people, and that may get someone over. You can kind of do the route from 2016 with getting some angles in there and really start hyping them up, putting them with other people that are better than them. But it doesn't work as much in 2020 you also have to keep in mind all those factors that i mentioned such as the size of your company you know the product if it's going to be oriented towards being a vocal crowd base uh if comedy gimmicks can even be major stars or stars and um ultimately how how good the the wrestler is going to end up being because of their star star quality uh which can still increase throughout the game and whatnot um but it will make it much easier that way so 
hopefully that guy's cleared up some things so it wasn't too confusing um i know it probably was for some people i'm not gonna lie i will be out in the comments helping you guys and hopefully some other people also have examined this some more and seen what they've gotten to work and what doesn't work here now this specifically is just for popularity this has just been the event spamming you know the uh, pushing a person to the moon having them never lose type of method of like let's see how that works compared to everybody else who's still doing their own thing in the game also you know eventually uh, when the game does fully come out I'll be doing a more in-depth analysis of how to be getting uh, better stats uh, I imagine most people are just gonna be guessing put them with better wrestlers and yeah they'll be doing better but even looking at how uh, dojos perform in that regard building them up through the dojo system as a generator worker all the way up to being main event star uh, of course like I said you can like I said spam them across but uh, realistically you wouldn't do that honestly in the game if you're you know wanting to play it the the fair way the safe way but ultimately it's cw it's how you guys want to play it and um yeah hope uh hope you guys got something out of this video i know i did i know it's more to talk about with adam and see what uh he thinks of and balancing for the game and whatnot um other than that, everybody stay safe as always and we'll see you all next time game's coming out it's getting closer guys Stay safe.